could go wrong? Chapter two. Now we'll find out what went wrong since practically nothing happened. I'm not saying wrong. I'm saying there's a state of inequality. The world is an unfair place all the time. All the time? That's a lot of time. This is film club, right? School club. And yet, this club has never played a movie directed by a woman. Let alone a woman of color. Name me a film directed by a female that is worthy of discussion, Miss Ivy. I'm all ears. Bale Rider, Pariah, The Hurt Locker, The Baba Duke. Never heard of any of those movies, by the way. A pleasure to meet you. I'm John K. Oh, that's a guy? That's a guy? Uh, I, I guess it's a guy. Don't bring your tired diversity agenda into my area. It's pointless. Did he just say my area to me? Screw you. Just because your parents own own Gotham? I didn't know that you could own a city. Doesn't mean you get to use your patriarchal substandards to define art, dick. Look at Harley in the background. The history of women in the world of the arts is a history of exclusion, and we are not going to take it anymore. Because this is our community. This is our home. We are not going away. We are not going to be driven out by the corporate powers that be. We know our rights. Ivy's mom didn't believe in devils or angels, she believed in rights. Which are completely separate from devils and angels. My dad owns the only local grocer in the neighborhood. So he has a monopoly. And he runs the community garden that I work at. So my life is kind of, you know, community activism stuff all the time. Hippie stuff? <laughs> yes! One, it's not hippie stuff. It's about looking after your community and their rights. Two, there's actually nothing wrong with hippie stuff. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with hippie stuff. The Canes, Millennium Enterprises. How come their coffees are so big? Because they're assholes. What? That's coffee? Wait, so anyone who gets a jumbo coffee is just an asshole by default? Hey mama, I went to this neighborhood thing with my new friend Ivy, who's kind of a hippie. And that's a good thing for the community and your mom gave me some flyers for you. That was one sentence. That was one sentence that I just read. Should we cook up some cereal for you? Oh no, the coffee! It's there! Whose coffee is that? That sweet girl is the devil's coffee. What's the letter for? They're trying to get rid of us. The devil was on his way. Millennium developments for your future, for our future. So what, they wanna re they wanna rebuild the apartments? The next day at school was a total circus. <laughs> Only clowns discriminate. This is so vaguely connected to fucking Harley Quinn, it's fucking laughable. This is just a whole different story that they repainted with Harley Quinn and Ivy in it. All the members wear gorilla masks, and they raise awareness about how, they, how few women artists get to be in museums and have their work valued in the patriarchy. That's why we're clowns. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a tribute. What? What? Clowns and gorillas are completely different things! This is, oh man, they just don't care. The writer just does not care. This is about what you're keeping out of the picture. This is a diverse school. As a school club, you have a responsibility to discriminate against white males. It's not my problem that women haven't made any decent film. Says you. Ivy says the Gorilla Girls wore masks because they wanted people to focus on the issues, not their faces. Of course, people at this school know who we are, so it doesn't work the same way, but I like the idea that we're making it about the message. Even though we just step as clowns and completely distracted people from the message. I like the idea! Anyway, I don't know if we should stick with this particular approach, but thanks for doing this. What? I love being a clown. I'm never taking this off. Hint, hint. Hey, I heard about what happened to your building. The ongoing corporate takeover of Lower Gotham. 
gentrification. How dare they want to make cities nice. They're building more condos and stores for people who live in condos. People who can afford to live wherever they want and do whatever they want. Mama says life is hell, but the drag show must go on. Mama being a furry god person type wasn't going to let big corporate buggers win without at least dragging the whole thing out a little. Are they like promoting teenage girls like stripping for money? What's going on here? This is so creepy. What? Earn those dollar bills, honey. No, don't stop it. Marika, why? What did your father do to you? Why did you write this? This is for kids. Oh no, no, no. I don't want to read more. Please don't make me read more, you two. Hello, you beautiful people out there. How you doing? You look good. You look very nice. See me later, hot star. She's supposed to be a teenager. She's supposed to be a teenager. Then again, they did foreshadow this with her liking hot dogs. Can you know she's sucking that anyway? Unfortunately, this is a story about devils and angels, not about disco and being awesome. Crash, what was that? So they spray paint and go away on the sidewalk and then smash the window so that people could see the spray paint that says go away on the sidewalk. A bunch of years ago. Awesome. When are you getting that wretched van out of here? Mom, I told you it's my friend Derek's, okay? Jesus, just relax. I told you they wouldn't call the cops. Let's just take the van to the lake and torch it. Hey, oh, is this, this is supposed to be her van. Okay that they stole and she's 10 years old? How about you get your filthy paws off my mom's van before I squash you like a gummy bear, you booger. What the? Yeah, that would be my reaction if a fucking 10 year old started talking to me like that. Get the frick off my property or I'll call the cops, stupid trash. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I'm gonna make like a dentist and remove all your tooth, see a dirty low down. Someone call the police. How is she winning this fight? She's 10 years old. Mama called his bat, his magic wand. He said it was for com for bad company. That sounds like a pretty good name for a bat, don't you think? All right, so she goes to the cane coffee place. Maybe at this point you are thinking, hey, What's the deal? You got something against coffee? Ask yourself, smarty pajamas, if it was just some chocolate coinky dink that the cane coffee people were coming to take mama's place and the same clip showed us outside a re Okay, um, that's one sentence. This feels like such a copy of, um, you remember those Warner Brother Batman movies? The second Batman movie with uh, Catwoman? This is kind of like what she did with the company, but the company directly screwed her over before she went to go take out her anger. Also, she's supposed to be like kind of a, a tragic villain who dies at the end. And I kind of feel like they're not gonna kill Harley Quinn at the end of this story. So just smashing the coffee place, it sets off an alarm. Somebody jumps in and and grabs her, I, I guess telling her to run. Hey, who are you? Run, run, little rabbit. If you don't want to go to the clink. The clink? Who says the clink? What are you, some old timey guy? That, that's actually a great running shot. I love that, um, the action line on this one. She jumps down the sewers. Is this supposed to be like the Joker? Is that what they're building up here? that she got saved by the Joker. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the new justice, the new world order. I am chaos. And that's a lot to put on a name tag. I am the Joker. ooh. Ugh. Sorry, I can't stay. It was a pleasure making your acquaintance. And nice to meet you too, Bonnie. Yeah, so is he like supposed to be way older than her because she's a teenager and she's saying that he sounds like an old timey uh, an older guy like he's middle-aged or something and he's covering up his face so i don't actually know i don't know if he's actually an old guy but if they're trying to set the, up this romance ugh. and then we go on to chapter three Program restart.